हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पार्ट 25 ऑफ लारावल 9 सीरीज इन व्हिच वी आर क्रिएटिंग द मल्टी वेंडर ई-कॉमर्स वेबसाइट ओके सो वंस अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन द वेंडर्स मॉड्यूल फॉर वन मोर टाइम एंड दैट वी आर डूइंग बिकॉज़ वी वांट टू अपग्रेड द कंट्री दैट कंट्री टैक्स बॉक्स विद द सेलेक्ट बॉक्स ओके आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू uh like okay i am going to log in with the vendor account not admin i am going to log in with the vendor account uh, we need to complete what work we have left with the previous videos and uh, so that we can uh, able to uh, do the future task okay so see here here you can see this is the country test field okay so we want to upgrade this to the select box and uh, for that we are going to import the countries table i'm going to show you uh, our uh, our database and here you can see uh, that we don't have any countries table so far and this is our database okay so we need to import one countries table we need to make one countries table in which we will get all the countries of the world and that countries we are going to use not only for the admin panel but we are going to use for the front end as well okay so uh, everywhere we will use the country drop down country select box we are not going to use the test field for the country okay so this is mandatory thing so we need to work on this thing we can't left it okay so uh, that's why uh, i'm going to start Uh, working on this in uh, i'm going to import the list and we were going to update the uh, personal details uh, this one country and also in business details we are using the country as well so both the fields we are going to update to stack box so we are going to search uh, for the countries uh, my sql table from the net okay we will get the complete list of countries uh, so we can search something like countries my sql straight away we can search something like countries my sql and we will open the first link and uh, in the advanced e-commerce series we have also done the same thing if uh, uh, my friends knows about that uh, the, uh, the persons who are following the uh, okay so this is the country list and from here we can uh, just uh, they require this one my sql country list okay i am going to save this link okay just simply save this link uh, to downloads folder and i'm going to import this list now so i am going to import this list okay so you can just do the similar thing you can uh, straight away get the sql file okay it is not working so i i can i can do one more thing uh, i will go to the downloads and uh, we'll check the list here no it is not uh, working fine Uh, i'm going to check once again uh, so i'm going to open the list now okay here the query so i can simply copy this one and can simply paste it here so there is one more way okay like this simple enough and here i can uh, okay i am going to do like this one only app underscore countries and later on i am going to rename the table that's not an issue and now it seems to be fine i am going to run the command here and going to check here so see the country list we able to import and now i'm going to one do one thing i'm going to operations and here i am going to rename this table to the countries okay and rename table to countries and go and we can see now i'm going back and I'm going to check the countries table we are now having all the countries of the world okay so this list uh, we are required to fetch this list but first of all i'm going to create the model for this countries table as well because we require the model in future so i'm going to open here new terminal folder so here i'm going to run the command php addition make model i'm going to make the country model that we require okay so country model is fine we have done now uh, i am going to update uh, the vendor details function in which we uh, are required to get the countries so i am going to open the admin controller and here 
uh, update vendor details this one and here uh, we require to get all the countries so that we can uh, we can just simply return the countries okay so here uh, see uh, we are having these details and so we can uh, fetch the countries here countries simply countries and from the country model we can fetch the country all the countries okay and one more column we can add here uh, suppose in future we require uh, we require to disable few of the com uh, countries then uh, in fact three columns we are going to add uh, one is the status and the another two is the created ad and updated because we if sometime we require to add the countries edit the countries from the admin panel that thing we can able to do okay so here uh, we are going to add the status and we are going to keep the tiny int okay see everything you can do with the migration command as well but to save the time we are doing like this now created at and updated at okay so here we are going to make it date time and time stamp finally we are required to save browse okay status uh, we can uh, update the countries list and make the status as one update countries set status equal to one so that we can simply uh, okay status is one and one more thing we can do uh, we can uh, change the status and here as defined every time when we will add the country we can make the status as one okay so now our country's table is ready and now here uh, we can add one condition here where status is one suppose uh, we disable any of the country uh, then uh, see its status must be one otherwise if the status is zero then it means that the country is disabled and we are not going to show that countries in the drop down okay so this countries and we require to return these countries to the update vendor details plate file i'm going to open and we'll replace the country field uh, with the select field okay so we are going to uh, i'm going to do after this one and here uh, see i'm going to uh, add that select option in select i'm going to give like uh, form control is required and after that we are required to add the id and country id country and name also country okay so after that uh, we require the option here option first option is just to select okay select country here okay value for this one is empty and after that we will add the for each loop in which we will get all the countries we are getting the countries like this as dollar country and and for each okay and here we will add the another option here to get all the countries one by one its value is uh, we are getting the country name dollar country and see we are getting the data in uh, object okay you can also convert this list to array to get the list in array okay so here we simply require now country name okay so this one we are getting in value okay so uh, here also uh, we are going to show this country name as well and now we can close it seems to be fine and uh, we can disable this one like this and let's see here refresh it see something is missing 
uh, okay we forgot to add the country model okay so we will add the country model here and now we are going to check see we able to replace the country where is the country we require to check the personal details and here is the list of the countries okay it seems to be fine so now we are required to check with the current country that we have earlier entered and going to select that country okay so for that we are going to add one condition here like if uh, the country name see country country name name okay if the country name see this one country name equal to equal to it uh, is equal to uh, this country that is coming here in this one okay uh, this one uh, okay in vendor details country if it is matching to the, this one so it means that if the country is matching to the selected country that is selected the last time uh, selected by the vendor then we are going to select this one okay then we are going to select selector at the rate of and if okay it seems to be fine now we are going to refresh once again but some issue has come up this time expecting uh, okay so we forgot to close this now we are going to check once again okay so now india is selected by default because india is the country that is entered by the user by the vendor last time okay so if i will select some other country like hong kong so submit it uh, okay for undefined array key vendor country okay so here uh, it must be vendor country for both id and name okay so now i'm going back so that's why the issue has come because we have the vendor name we don't we have vendor country okay so now i'm going to select some other country like hungary I'm going to submit this one and now i'm going to check the hungary is by default selected you can see the hungary is by default selected okay and uh, okay so that is fine and the same thing we are going to do with the business details here also we will remove this test field and replace that with the select box so same thing we are going to use for the business details for the country that is here we are going to replace this one with the business details and here also i'm going to remove this one okay uh, so first i'm going to do like this and here see few of the things we need to replace here vendor country we are going to replace with the shop country and here also uh, in vendor details uh, okay in vendor details here also shop country will come rest everything will remain the same and we are going to remove this input type test now i am going to save refresh and now we are going to check this business details see this time is by default india i am going to uh, update it to some other country like malaysia okay so uh, i am going to now update to uh going to submit this one and this time you can see the malaysia is there by default okay so i think uh why it is coming light i don't know about this one i hope you know better css than me uh, style uh, color if we are going to do the color like this see all these things you need to do in your css file now it seems to be fine okay now it now the country is highlighted okay so we can check uh, its css here and we can just use the same uh, that color okay so i think uh, this is not the color this one so the same color we can use here and for the the last one as well okay so I'm going to save it and you can see okay now see we will update it to some other country like uh, Mauritius okay submit and you can check now 
it's malicious okay it's coming fine so stay same style we are going to use for the earlier country as well here okay so here also uh, we are going to use this style so that it will come correctly so this one we can remove now okay so we able to replace the country test field for both vendor person details and business details here also you can see it's hungry right now i am going to back to india updater so this time it will select as india okay and for business details i am again going to select it to india and okay so i'm going to save it submit and now this time india is coming okay so uh, do this change uh, this change is also required to do when we work at the front end at that time also uh, we will use the country select box instead of the country field we are going to use the country select box so that the user will uh, able to select the right country okay so uh, in next video we will start working on the e-commerce modules uh, we will start with the section module first thing to do is the section module now we will focus on this section uh, on the e-commerce module everything will come you now after vendor details like sections categories products everything will come so that vendor can able to add the products when his account will get approved from the admin okay so stay tuned for that and that's all for now have a nice time Goodbye.